military aircraft. It's got fighters as well as uh, transports. More fighters, and, and here they are, the dispersed in their aircraft for vetments. Iconos is, is not as good as what the United States is currently using in terms of spy satellites. They can see something on order of um, centimeters, but it's more than adequate to do general military analysis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 To uh, a foreign military and to their intelligence analysts who have never been able to have access to the high quality U.S. imagery, uh, it's nothing like they've ever seen. And so uh, foreign militaries are going to be getting their first chance to use and exploit this. So no, I mean, I would have, I would assume Taiwan has been trying to get its own spy satellite launched. They've had difficulties with that. And obviously, they're very interested in Chinese military capabilities and posture. And so for a few hundred thousand dollars, the price of a single air-to-air -air missile, if they could find out what's going on in China, they'd be fools not to. sharing real-time intelligence, letting Taiwan know where each and every Chinese airplane was, might be regarded as destabilizing by the American government. Now, Taiwan can use this commercial system to figure out where Chinese airfields are, but the limitations of the commercial system means that they're not going to be able to keep track of where every airplane is on a day-to-day -day basis.